Okay, so we have a number of different answers. We have three is popular, negative, uh, zero, negative 3.6 times 10 to the fourth zero newtons per coulomb. Uh, two is popular, and five is popular. Hmm, well, okay, let's take a look at this. First of all, we have a rod that's two meters long, and the observation location is 0.03, 0 0.050 meters. So that's three centimeters, comma, five centimeters, comma, zero, compared to, you know, this is one meter, and this is one meter. So three centimeters over, and maybe five centimeters up, I don't know, maybe right there, okay? Can we make the approximation in this case to just Treat it like a, a thin rod, which, where we're very close to the, you know, we're very close to the, uh, to the, our observation location is very close to the charge, and we're not too far off the axis, right? So, this seems like a good place to make this approximation, right? So already we know that the electric field is approximately pointing in what direction? It's a negative charge. Should be pointing down, right? Should be a, there's going to be a slight a lateral component, right? But essentially, and I, since I'm so close here, my vector is going to go through the rod, but that's okay. I'm drawing a different color. The electric field is pointing downward, okay? So we should get a net electric field like that. So let's try it. We have the electric field of the rod. Remember, this is just a magnitude, so the vector you often have to sort of construct the vector yourself based on the, uh, the sign of the charge. So we'll just get the magnitude. The magnitude is going to be 1 over 4 pi epsilon 0, Q, 2Q over L, and it's really the magnitude of Q, uh, over R. So we have 9 times 10 to the minus, uh, or excuse me, 9 times 10 to the ninth, times 2, times a charge of, 2 times 10 to the minus 7. And yeah, I know it's negative, but we're just looking for the magnitude. Divided by L. Okay, so the length is 2 meters. And what's R? Right, so that is what number? Is it 0.03 or 0.05? 0.05. Okay. So, so what do you get when you plug that in? I don't need to even actually work it out. It's going to be, well, the twos are going to cancel. You get 18 times 10 to the second divided by 0.05. So what is that? Okay, so it's 3.6 times 10 to the fourth. It's just a magnitude. It's just a magnitude. Okay, so in, in, so I, well, I'm writing Q here, but the way to think about this, it's really the absolute value of Q because we're just we just found the magnitude of these electric fields. Okay, so magnitude is always a positive number. When you want a vector, though, you have to look at the physical situation. You say, okay, this is a negative charge. I'm above the negative charge. It's got to be pointing towards it. So when I would write the vector, the electric field of the rod would be 0, negative 3.6 times 10 to the fourth, 0 in units of newtons per coulomb. 